All right, guys. So um, <clears throat> in this video, I'm just going to help you, um, you know, choose what product or service, you know, um, that you want will, may want to sell in your Shopify store. You know, basically give you some ideas and some tips on what you should look for. I'm not going to tell you what to sell, but I'm going to pretty much help you get a good idea. Um, for an example, uh, let me just see. Um, let me see. I'm going to type in NFL hats. Um, okay, so let's just do, for the sake of this video, um, let's just do winter hat for women. And I'm going to show you in this video um, what to look for, what not to look for, and, you know, whether you should add it to your store or not. Um, so these are winter hats for women. Um, you see this, for example, these hats, it says a Kayo dot fan. It has 19,593 orders. You don't want to add something like that to your Shopify store because, you know, a lot of people already know what it is. It, you know, kind of reached a lot of people and, um, you know, it's kind of saturated with that many orders. Um, so you want to stay away from big orders like that. You, I, you don't have to, but I wouldn't add that to my store. Um, <coughs> you also want to stay away from orders like this. Um, this one only has 56 orders, which is kind of on the low end, which means, you know, probably a lot of people aren't really interested in that, um, particular, you know, item. Doesn't mean it is the case, but, you know, most likely that is the case. Um, so you don't want to go too high as far as orders. You don't want to go too low. I would add something like, um. Let me see. Something like this to my store. Um, you know, 343 or 433 orders. Um, something like that. Stay between 300 to, I say 2,000. Uh, yeah, stay between 300 to 2,000. Anything over 2,000 kind of gets a little saturated. Anything under 300, you know, depending on how long it's been listed, not a lot of people may be interested in it. So look at the orders. Um, before you add an item to your store, look at the orders. Like I said, try to stay between 300 and 2,000. Um, this will be a good item to, you know, add to the store. Let me click on it and show you guys something. All right, guys, so the sales price on this item is $1.18 um, to $1.31. Let's just go on the high end and say this item is $1.31. Um, I would add this to my site. And, you know, again, this little icon right here, that's how you add an item to your site. I would sell this for... Um, uh, I'll probably sell it for like about eight ten dollars. That's a what? Um, you know, you quadruple your investment. You know, I will sell this between eight to ten dollars. Um, and like I said, when you choosing a product, make sure you know it's an e packet, which you know has this green little question mark symbol. So it is e packet. Do not choose. 
order in the um, product for your customer. Um, typically with the e-packet, um, it'll say 12 to 20 days. Sometimes it'll even say four days. I will recommend choosing, you know, of course, the, I'm sorry, the four to six days. But most of the time it'll say 12 to 20. So if this is not an item you want to actually add. Well, you can add it, but I wouldn't recommend it because as it shows, the estimated delivery time is 35 days. And I don't like my customer waiting that long. So try to do 12 to 20 days maximum as far as the estimated delivery time. Most of the time it comes a lot quicker, but still just to be on the safe side, make sure for estimated delivery time, you choose a time that's 12 to 20 days maximum. But let me scroll down. Um, also, you know, keep that in mind. You know, this customer has, I'm sorry, this supplier has 11 available. So after that, you know, it's basically sold out. Um, you can add some of these specifics on your, you know, under your descriptions on your Shopify store. Don't ever add the brand name. I always leave that blank. Um, you can copy and paste some of these descriptions. Get the pictures, of course, to add on your site. Um, a lot of different colors to choose from. I'm trying to get to the review section because that's what I want to show you guys. I don't know if this product has reviews, but we'll see. Feedback. There we go. <coughs> and another thing, guys, um, when you're adding a product, you can also do like a bundle. Um, say you selling hats and scarves. You know, your hats may be five dollars and your scarves may be, I don't know, eight dollars. But if a customer buy the combo, they can probably get it for ten dollars. You know, you can do some type of um, you know, savings like that. Um and you know, that's also another good selling tactic to use. Let me refresh this. I'm not sure why the feedback is taking so long to come up. But I'm going to show you guys something in the feedback. Um, <clears throat> this is something that's going to be in a later video, um, which is you know how to market this product. But basically, um, look at the feedback. A lot of your customers for some products may be US, but a lot of products, you know, the customers is buying the most is not in the US. It may be in Australia. Um, I know in my online store, I get a lot of orders from Australia, um, Japan, um, United Kingdom, England is also another, you know, country where I get a lot of orders from. Um, Zimbabwe. Um, but I'll get into that in a later video. Um, but look at the feedback and it'll show you which countries um you know are are buying the most here we go um and you know if someone adds a lot of stuff to their store you know i i kind of because this is you know this uses gigabytes so that's why it took a while to come up so just be careful um you know when you're when you're adding things to your store, you know, don't just all clog it up. You know, make sure that, um, you know, it looks pretty neat and it don't take a while to load for customers. That's the number one thing. You don't want your store to take a while to load for customers. Um, so UA, UA, these are the sales for today. Um, and I'll show you guys something else for in this video and why by these are the countries is buying um from the store. Are you 
or U U A. Okay, so U A have at least five orders on this just one page alone. So I do not know what U A is. So what I'm going to do is go to Google and Google search U A. Um, what country is U A? And it'll show you. Uh, I mean, it'll tell you what U A is. The Ukraine. All right. So the U A is Ukraine. Um. Yes, the U A is a is the abbreviation for Ukraine. So. We, you know, when we get into the advertising part, Ukraine is definitely going to be one country you target. Um, RU. Let's see what RU is. RU. I think that's Russia. I should have known that. Russia. Okay. So Russia is another country we're going to target. Um, and this is basically how you can you know, get a good idea of which countries to target when you run your advertising, which I'll show you in a, a later video. Um, and of course, you go to page two and see what other countries you can add. The number one mistake people make is that they only target the United States because they live in the United States. That's a bad move because you're missing out on a lot of sales. You know, like I said, a lot of your sales is going to come from countries you know, other than the United States. So that's a lot of traffic you're leaving on a table um, when you exclude all countries but the U.S. So that's just a little suggestion. Um, look at the feedback, you know, write down the abbreviations, Google them, and just add them to your target list when you run your advertising. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.